up guys, it's BD here and we're back with episode 16 of Upcoming Group Buys. Now I took some time off because quite frankly, GMK was slacking. There's a bunch of new sets piling up. Meanwhile, all the sets from before were delayed, but recently a lot of the sets have been coming in. I've gotten a lot of them that I ordered because I'm right there with you guys. And also GMK also announced that they are opening up another factory so or expanding i should say so a lot of good news so i was like you know what all these things considered i think it's time to finally bring back the series so enough talk let's pimp out your keyboard now the first set is coming from dot nick he was the creator of the gmk lavender which was huge this is the gmk chaos theory this set reminds me of a light mode dracula set the base kit looks good but i love that stochastic novelties kit they are a bit pricey at $55 for them on top of the 120 you're already spending on the base set can be a bit much. The Key Labs Chaos Artisan looks dope and the Hebe Butterfly has a unique look to it as well. Both the desk mats look pretty insane. I love the minimal desk mat the most though. This is gonna go great on a black, white, or lilac board. And overall, I'm gonna give this set an eight out of 10. Don Nick was nice enough to do another giveaway. So all you have to do to enter is follow me and him on the gram, be subscribed to me on YouTube here, and then write your handle down below in the comment section. That's all you have to do. All right, so the next set on the list is the GMK Dreambird. This reminds me of that old Ducky set that they released a while back. It features blue and navy keycaps with the yellow lettering and accents. They play really nicely together here. The color is based off the Hyacinth Macaw. Hopefully I'm saying that right. The base kit looks amazing as is. I'd only get the novel keys if I was really into birds to get that bird theme. The space bars are definitely worth picking up for some contrast. The jungle mat is a home run if I've ever seen one. I love that one. Might even just pick that one up just because. I love the eye artisan keycap as well. It looks very unique. They also have an egg version of this as well, which I don't love quite as much, but still, I like this set. Overall, I give this set an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have the Milky Way Demon Girl. This is an anime themed inspired by a demon girl. I really love the different pinks that they use within this set. And I also love the bamboo green space bars that they have, and it all works really nicely together. I love the Japanese writing on the keycaps. They look really nice. I also really like the novelties here as well. This is a PBT set for those of you guys out there that prefer PBT over ABS. This is looking like a really nice set. This is gonna go great on a white or pink board. It's really gonna bring out the pinks within this set. For MW Dream Girl, I'll give it an A. 8.5 out of 10. So up next, we got another popular set of the month. I've seen this all over my Twitter feed, people talking about it, saying they're gonna pick it up, and it is the DMG3. It brings those old retro Game Boy vibe. It comes with a Latin base or a Hiragana base. Uh, the novelties are so-so. I would probably pass on it unless you really like that shine through Game Boy look that mimics the power button. The space bars and the arrow keys are a definite cop as well for some contrast. Overall, I really like the set. It's minimal, it brings enough pop with that color red or burgundy. The desk mat is sick as well, showing off the top of a Game Boy. It's gonna be great on a gray or burgundy board, and I can also see this working on a polycarbonate board as well. Overall, I give the GMK DMG3 a nine out of 10. So next up, we got an interesting set. It's the Cam Command. This pays homage to sci-fi books, TV shows, and movies. Every single legend is custom designed, including the made up alien overlord language. This is a very unique looking set because of all the coloring on each keycap. I love the black and the red, it's very unique. It looks different than any other set, which I really like. It's a very dark set, so it's gonna look really good on a blackboard. Could also work with the red board, but it might be a little bit overkill with the red. The modifiers are the real standout of the show here. I also really like the space bars. It has a little outline around the outer edge of it, which is really, really cool. I really love that alien language desk mat. Overall, I give this set an eight out of 10, just for being so unique. Now, you guys know I'm a big koi fish fan. I had them growing up as a young child. I wanted to get tatted with it, never did though. <laughs> but this set, the GMK Zen Pond, really hits it for me. It's got a hiragana base and it's also available in a Latin base. The novelties have these sick koi fish on them. That's a must. I'm sorry, but you gotta buy those with this set. The space bars are also worth picking up for some contrast with some different blues on it. 
And can we talk about that Tancho desk mat? Holy crap, that is clean. That's gonna be a desk mat where people are gonna regret not picking it up. And then they're gonna be asking me in my video, like, hey, BT, where'd you get that desk mat? Only come to find that you can't purchase it anymore. So don't be one of those people. And then can we also talk about that Artisan, the Zen Metal, that's a cop. Love the red and the blue on there. The white one doesn't really stand out for me as much. I really like the blue one a lot more. Overall, I give the Zen Pond a nine out of 10. Next up, we got GMK Rudy round two. Based off of the movie Rudy from back in the day, that was one of my favorite movies. I missed out on this the first time around. I kind of kicked myself for it once I saw people get it in and it looked really nice on the keyboards. Super impressed. I love how the navy and the gold work together. It's based, like I said, if you're a football fan, you gotta see that movie if you haven't already. It's a classic. I mentioned that because they have these really cool artisans with the football logos on it. This could be really cool if you just bought those just to put on your keyboard if you're a football fan as well. I can see Space Bars to work really nice with this keyboard. They also have the Dark Horse, which is all navy. I probably would just get the base kit. It looks super sick like that. This is gonna go great on a white, navy, or gray board, and those keyboards are really gonna accentuate the colors on this set. Overall, I give Rudy 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have my personal favorite set of the month, the EPBT Kavala. This set is a real stunner. I already picked up a set. I love the Sunset base. It reminds me of that old Taihao keycap set, one of my favorite sets, but with the blue for the alphas. I love that ombre fade of the oranges. Then you just add the blue in there. It just works so well together. I love it. It's really cool that they named this based off of the sunset and the blue comes across as like the clouds. Really cool concept there. You can also get the cloud modifiers if you want to make the whole thing blue. The novelties are so, so if you want that kind of look. For me, it doesn't really do anything thing for me. I love the base kit the way it is. I love the orange space bars. I also really like the desk mat as well. The artisans are also so-so for me. Don't really stand out to me. I don't know if I'd spend the extra money on them. This set is going to go great on a gray board, a blue board, or a polycarbonate board, or even a white board. A black board might take away a little bit of the liveliness of this set, so I'd probably pass on that. Overall, I give the Kavala a 9 out of 10. Last but not least, we have EPBT Timeless. Now, this one looks similar to GMK Cafe, but with a darker mod. It's funny how just doing that little change makes this into a completely new set and a new vibe. Uh, and then you throw that timeless theme on there. And I love how the base kit comes with the colored space bars and the arrow keys, making this a steal for $100. I also love the Eternity and Continuum desk mats as well. Uh, they also have two metal artisans by Thok and Acero Foundry. They look okay. You know, I feel like maybe they could have done more with these. Overall, I give Timeless an eight out of 10. So for switching them up, we have the new Gateron FC switches. These are supposed to be nice, smooth, and clacky, even as stock. It has a palm stem with a new design, a new mold, and it should be smoother than an ink stem. That's a lot, that's a lot to say right there. Cause you guys know I love me some black inks. And now it also has a linear 60 gram long spring. The longer spring provides more preload, which means that at any given point during the stem's travel, the actual force being exerted against your fingers will have less to do with how far you have pressed the switch and more to do with the preload. So it looks very promising. In fact, they look smooth as butter. Just looking at that top, the pricing isn't bad at $6 for 10. So I'm probably gonna be picking some of these up. But anyways, let's move on on to the keyboards of the month. First up, we have the Gentleman 65 Suited. It comes in at $240, it's available in black, white, and polycarbonate and mint. It's available in black, white, polycarbonate, and mint. It's got everybody's favorite feature on it, a knob, knob city, knob, knob city. This comes in a hot swap and solder version. It's a top burger mount. You can also do the burger mount with the solder PCB, which it just sits in the middle without being screwed down. Comes in a bunch of different plate materials like FR4, aluminum, brass, PVD brass, and some options will cost you a little bit more. They've also got a bunch of different materials. I saw some videos of this keyboard uh, from some other creators and it looks like a real winner. Next up we have the Pizza Round 2. Why well, don't have the feeling that they made this keyboard while they're eating some pizza? They didn't know what to call their keyboard. They're like, you know what? We'll call it the pizza. <laughs> I love the clean lines on it and how everything is so tight together. It makes it look clean and minimal. This was featured on a previous episode, I think round one, but I never copped it. But since it is running round two, I'm assuming people liked it. This comes in a brass or aluminum plate. It comes in a couple of different colors, black, red, and blue. And this time they have this silver ash edition. Get it? Ash, pizza, 
I, I see, I see what they did there. You can also get this in a texture shiny polished. The shiny looks pretty badass. It also has a solderable or hot swap version. It's top mounted and from what I've heard, it sounds pretty good as well. All right, so next up we have the Phase 165 from KBD Fans. This is a gasket mounted keyboard. It has some interesting features on it. It's available in solder or hot swap. Comes in a bunch of different plate forms. Aluminum, half aluminum, brass, half brass, polycarbonate, half polycarbonate, every, pretty much every plate. Let's just say that. Comes with a Windows key or Windows keyless. It features a badge up at the top as well as a unique light at the left. This is a pretty unique looking board. It looks very modern. It also has a bottom weight. It's a little bit on the pricey side at 468, but I feel like this is a very unique board. And normally KBD fans boards, they usually deliver on them. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for this episode 16 of Upcoming Group Buys. Don't forget to enter that giveaway. GMK is coming back through for us. So uh, we should be seeing a lot more keycaps and I uh, can't wait to make episode 17. It has been your boy BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.